going into a game, it's still an evaluation of what you do. You want to play clean football. That's really what you're trying to accomplish. I mean, have we gotten across to our players what we want it to look like? To me, that's the most important thing. I mean, so really, the, the reality of this is, is we're still trying to evaluate. We're trying to see what we do in practice, what carries over the closest thing we'll ever have to a game, which is a crowd and you know, warm-ups and everything else that you do. So I think we're excited to continue to see our roster because somebody does something whether it's a punt return by she in the first game or a, uh, I saw a lot from Drew Forbes last week at guard that we hadn't seen practicing with the Colts. Like I, I don't know where it came from. All of a sudden, he got better. Uh, DJ Montgomery's done some really good things in games. It, something shows. Some guys either work their way into a roster or work their way out out of what you see in the games. Baker Mayfield's from Lake Travis High School in Texas. So too, Tim, is Garrett Gilbert, who is getting the start here tonight. We're about to see Lake Travis's finest. Oh, yeah, we are. The best to ever come out of Lake Travis is about to spin it today. Okay. Quarterback Garrett Gilbert from the four. He's back to pass. Lux pulls it down, drifts right, lobs end zone, caught, yeah. touchdown! There you go, Garrett! There you go, Garrett! Yeah. With Freddie and Drew being with them in Arizona for two years, or he just got really close, and that's kind of like I, I try to model my my quarterback room after how Freddie did it. Freddie was my quarterback coach there in Arizona, and Drew was the backup, and I was the third guy. So it's kind of, it's uh, we Drew and I sometimes when things are are slow joke about you know five years ago if we would imagine we'd all be in this situation where Drew's still playing and I happen to be the coach, Freddie's the head coach, and then. The, the funny part, too, is we got a guy like Garrett, who I see a lot of myself in. Now, he's a heck of a lot better player than I ever was, but Garrett's just the guy that I think with their history, you know, is, is easy to, to get to Baker immediately. I think Baker's a guy you got to earn his trust, and obviously, you know, Garrett walks in day one and has that. A little game of nose goes. Oh. Baker and I have such a great relationship. Playing football at the same high school, playing quarterback at the same high school, and, and you know, it's it's been a high school that has had quite a run of quarterbacks. So there's sort of a special bond there from a young age and coming out of high school, uh, you kind of knew Baker was gonna be one of the next quarterbacks. He was really close with my brother as far as age is concerned. So he was kind of over at the house all the time. And you know, we've been keeping in touch and following along with each other forever. Get it out there, Gary. Gilbert back on first down. He's gonna go lob it down deep in the right sideline and deep. Oh, oh it. It. That's that. Good job, Garrett. Good job, Garrett. Six. He's back on first and goal. He's throwing, and it's caught, and yeah. it's touchdown. There we go. That's it, Garrett. That a baby. Are you hear me? <laughs> Are you hear me? I think everybody just on game day, you kick it up a notch. And, you know, Campy's a guy, too, that. We had, we had heard that he was a guy that likes to get pretty jacked up on game day. So, you know, the thing is kind of, you know, anybody can, can be in the wrath of that, that tornado. So he's a guy, though. I mean, you, you want guys like that on your team at the end of the day. <laughs> is anyone here in camp right now? Just for, from now on, hang out with Campy the rest of the game. You always lean towards those guys. I mean, even James Camp and I are probably, probably pretty good friends on the staff. But, I mean, I guess it's just being an old quarterback. You uh, you kind of have to have an affinity for offensive linemen. So, I mean, ever since I was in high school, you, you have those guys over for dinner at your house. Good rock. Bro, he was awesome back in the day. Oh, what do you mean back in the day? It's still his day? Those are good guys. And I've actually known Joel for for a long time, you know, and and uh, and passing being another Southern California guy, so we have a good time playing around on the sideline when you get a little lull in, in the game. And um, yeah, I, I, I just enjoy kind of busting their busting their chops and, and letting them hear it. Joel graded you out at a C. In what? The first position. In your first seven plays. I think I need I need room for improvement. If you're, if you're at the peak right now, you're wrong. You need you I need mean, room I, to grow. So I give myself an A minus. But he gave himself an A. So a minus, A minus. There. He he won't let you forget that he went to the Pro Bowl last year. He'll tell you pretty much every conversation. <laughs> I never say that. I, have, I heard. I heard that. He brings every I time heard. he brings out his Pro Bowl cleats. He goes, Hey, you want to know where I got these? The Pro Bowl last year because I was in it. That's yeah. Wow. Game baby. Black him. Yeah. Yes, buddy. Come talk. Yeah, Coach Kane. 
I think the the culture of the team and just the just the vibe overall is it's a really tight group. And I think a lot of that comes in the form of how hard these guys have worked over this training camp. Film him. Film him. That's something special to see. I mean, anybody that knows Freddie knows he's a guy that if you're with him, you're with him 100. percent So it's it's no surprise that uh, he's put together a team that that takes on that characteristic. I'm ripping this shit off. The game's over. You're not gonna watch me anymore. Give the people what they want, man. Give them what they want. Yeah! Come on. Then I'll turn the camera on you. Come on. Yeah, this is my oldest daughter. This Hi. is Kirsty. She's my sweetheart. <laughs> Talk about the offensive line. Um, I don't know. We're just, we're learning everything now. It's different so now that we're in Cleveland. Favorite, favorite uh, former, former offensive lineman. I mean, is that a question? Yeah. Who is it? It's a real question. Yeah. Who is it? Obviously you. Thanks, honey. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. All right. Perfect. I think Campy kind of is a calming influence on these guys. He's a technician. He teaches technique, which I thoroughly believe in. I think you can become a better player on the offensive line using good technique, and I think that's what his strength is. They got me super mic'd up today. They want me to hype up building the Browns. All right, here we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, Campy, someone put a mic on my pad, so don't coach me. Linemen, they, you know, they eat together, they do everything together, you know, for the most part, and you got to support each other and pick each other up. And, you know, there's times when Jeff and I are, you know, everything that's coming out of our mouths is correct this, correct that. And certainly they work extremely hard, but, you know, we want them to talk and have fun and do things like that. So it's a good, it's a great room. Oh, yeah, I got a mic on, hot mic. They want, like, the stars of the team, you know. They don't want Odell or Baker. They want the O-line guys, you know. But I'm just starting to learn, you know, about Joel and what he is and what he's about. And the, and the things that impress me is that you can tell he's a good man, he's a good person, um, good father. And, and, you know, I think those kind of things being maturity and, and not only that being one heck of a football player, you know, kind of, um, you know, people in the room will, will gravitate to that. And his work ethic is, is outstanding, so. We still love you, Petronio! <laughs> What happened? Why do you still love me? <laughs> if I fart, do you guys hear that? <laughs> Sorry in advance. Dude, we got a whole set of bleachers over there that need to be a little inspired for this practice. It's a Sunday, the crowds are out. Get up in the bleachers, get up in the bleachers and get them going. Get them pumped up, yes, get in the bleachers. Yes, Drew. Yes! He's so nervous. <laughs> I need like a run to the top of the bleachers, you know what I mean? Like, I want, I want them to start a wave. Yes! Or like do the, do the car thing. Like, like, oh yeah, oh. roller coaster, roller coaster, car. Whatever it is. <laughs> When's the last time you were in your car in here? The sweet ass convertible like I do. <laughs> I think we're coming together well. I think it's uh, obviously a process as camp goes on. Um, you know, you, we're working with different groups of people, working with different players, but I think we're settling into understanding how everybody moves and everybody uh, kind of fits together. So I think that's something that before the first game of the season starts, I think we're going to settle in more and more, but we're definitely getting there. Sponges, cold towels. Sell it. Sell it. Sponges, cold towels. Miserable. I'm not trying to yell over the Tell me, tell me make, make it sound like I need a sponge or a cold towel. Ice cold sponges here. Feeling down? I got a cold towel for you. J.C. Treader is very smart, intelligent, 
problem solver at the line of scrimmage. His actions speak for what he does. Greg Robertson, a heck of a guy now. I mean, this guy, he has your back 24-7. Highly talented, as everyone knows, does things that a lot of people can't do. Chris Hubbard, he is what he depicts on film. A hard worker, high energy, lead by example. Eric Cush, love the kid. He's, he's very valuable because he can play multiple positions. Going you know, his sixth year, and um, he's strong, he's tough-minded. Someday I hope to be like you, Cush, that was good. Someday I hope to be like you. Oh, you know, you'd like to come out of game three, possibly with the right guard position. The right person that fits that job requirement will be there, and he's got to be tough mentally first, physically second, to be able to persevere. He has to have leadership. I mean, their own own way, um, you know, whether it's vocal, verbal, or is it kicking someone's tail. I mean, he's got to be someone that is willing to lose himself in order to find himself within the makeup of a team. Hey, if I hit my walk, bro, if I hit my walk, who do y'all know that's like funny that be walking? Like, I don't gotta walk a straight line. I can just Conor McGregor. I can't do that, huh? <laughs> the nickname Hollywood. Obviously, in Hollywood, the lights are bright. I got my teammates taking pictures of me, and me walking the red carpet. So before I walk the red carpet, I make sure like my suit and ties put on, and I make sure I get my bag. And after that, we just gonna walk and we gonna strut the red carpet. Get a little runway with it. What you mean? Let me. See. Hmm. And walk back the other way. <laughs> they gonna put me on Megas next time I'm out of doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. I've got do the Beyonce walk from David. David's crazy. I'm not doing a Beyonce walk, by the way. I've got a lot of a lot of different ideas, so it's it's finna crank up here pretty soon. Bro. You wanna let's go. Look at look at look at that rope. Damn bro! Damn bro! What's up? <laughs> Every year is a grind, you know, and I feel like this one by far has been long and spin and pass every day, you know, we, we're all tired. Come on, Dave! Bro, can you ever think about the last time your body didn't feel nothing? Like? I was young, I was young. I had to be young, eating some cereal or something. No soreness, no tightness, no, it's been a minute. Probably before I came to camp. Today been a bad day for me, bro. I got an ME and then I got a mental toughies in the sense of that shit don't matter. Focus on the next. Look, the day still went bad because I dropped the pass. I don't, want, I, see, I don't like hearing that. Shit. And that's negative energy. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Freddie told us that this was going to be one of the most physical training camps we've had, and it was. You know, I believe this year we. Our, our main focus was to be the most physical team, and I think so far, you know, we've been doing just that. So what getting physical does for you? Yeah. Beat that mother up at the line of scrimmage. Hey, how did it look? I'm trying to hit his ass because he, oh, he didn't cross over. Beat his ass with the speed, then pop out, break him at the top. You can't break him at the beginning, has he? And then break him down at the top. That's too many. I had moves. him beat already, huh? Yeah. Let's go, Tony O. Dude, in that slant. I hit him. Yeah, it was too much. Because you chopped twice. I hit him. And then you did that again, and then you did like that again. Like this really good. It was like too much. All right. Jarvis is one of the guys I like been looking up to since I've been in the league. You know, him not being like the fastest and him not being 
the strongest, you know, but he's he's confident and he's cocky. And when when he came to the team, it was just like, damn, like I get my role model right here next beside me. So it's been a sense of me elevating my game based off of him. Man, what you doing, man? <laughs> Do it to the beat. <laughs> David's been my boy since he's gotten the league. It's something that clicked like me and Baker, you know. Um, he's goofy, he's outgoing. Um, I go to his house a lot and we, we chill together, we play Madden together, I bust his head in Madden. I'm missing Aaron, I'm missing Aaron. What happened, sir? Out here? Out here? Down, over where, huh? Down there? Long gone. Down there? Let me see the other one. That's that fake shit. Hmm? Your body fake. My shit is real, son. Huh? Ain't no plastic or anything here. Damn! Really, the sky's the limit. You know, we have so many superb athletes you know we have all the tools to be whatever we want to be and it's, it's going to take you know daily work The turning of the tide is an exciting thing, and you come into the building every day. It's, it's you know, get out of yourself and into the team. I think there's 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 something to subtle messages like that that probably you know over time subconsciously reach guys. Training camp's been great. You know, it's hard to get a real gauge in the preseason for what you have moving forward. But I like our attitude and you're really, you know, going through a process of evaluating your team and who's going to be part of the Browns moving forward. How you doing? Good. How about you guys? We're great. Yeah, we're doing good, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Coach, you've been building in camp towards the regular season. Where's your team at right now? Do you like what you see? Well, we've got five practices and two games left. Uh, there needs to be a sense of urgency, and I better say a sense of urgency tomorrow. And when we go down to Tampa, there needs to be a sense of urgency. Um, as a person, as a man, I care about these guys that are giving me everything they have. So at some point, it's got to be about the person sitting beside you on each side. You've got to care about that person enough not to let them down. You've got to care about that person enough to want to lift them up when they need it. I know this for a fact. The team that's going to be there at the end is going to care about each other. Ricky Show. All us rookies had to uh, make a video for the Rookie Show. Uh, I'm all for it. it. It was a good time hearing all the guys laugh, and uh, I just wanted to go all out with that. You've heard about it on Good Morning America. It's the story sweeping the nation. Damon Sheehy Giuseppe. What's it been like rooming with a kicker, Austin Seibert? Oh, Austin, he's not. He's a, he's a very quiet guy. He uh, goes to bed pretty early. I usually come in trying to get some small talk with him, but he's always sleeping. <laughs> Hey, hey, you guys good? What's our motto? Trust, loyalty, and respect. But really, you can take out the middle one. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it went pretty well. There were definitely some up and down acts, uh, part of the show, but 
Yeah, I started doing magic when I was about 16 or 17 down in, in Texas. And you know, I kind of thought to myself, I'm not Robin, man, I'm Batman. Like I, I gotta have a main attraction. I gotta be the main event. So I learned them myself and that jaw drop, the reaction is kind of what, you know, gives you a thrill as a performer. preseason game and camp after we've worked hard for the last four weeks. The guys really have, have come together and I think this just put a good cap on it for, for really what we've done over the last few weeks. Well, as training camp's over, you've shrunk it to who the 2019 Cleveland Browns are going to be and that's going to determine whether you win or lose. That's the way it is in the NFL. That don't give you an excuse for not knowing what to do and how to do it. For more great Browns videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button below.